Hello everyone. In this unit, so far we are discussed about force, types of forces, effects of force, pressure, and different types of pressure with examples. In this session, we are going to discuss about the atmospheric pressure and some of the daily life examples related to atmospheric pressure. As we discussed in the earlier class about different types of objects like solids and liquids exerting some kind of pressure on another objects that we are calling as a solid pressure or liquid pressure similarly the atmosphere also exerting pressure on another objects let us see how it will happen there is an envelope of air in the form of layers surrounds the earth this is the earth's atmosphere it extends up to several kilometers from the surface of the earth the weight of the air column over unit area of the earth's surface is atmospheric pressure we know that pressure is force per unit area if we imagine a unit area and a very long cylinder standing on it filled with air then the weight of the air in this cylinder is the atmospheric pressure the density of the atmosphere is near the surface of the earth is greater and it decreases as we go up hence atmospheric pressure decreases as we go up from the earth's surface let us see how to measure the atmospheric pressure the weight of an air column above unit area on the surface of the earth at sea level is considered as one atmospheric pressure this is equivalent to the weight of mercury column of height 0.76 meter and unit area of 1 meter square this is standard atmospheric pressure the unit of the atmospheric pressure is bar the value of atmospheric pressure will change with height it measured with reference to the sea level value of atmospheric pressure at the sea level is 1.01 into 10 to the power of 5 pascal atmospheric pressure is measured by using an instrument called mercury barometer let us take one example from our daily life when we go to the cool bar we will take the juice by using the straw is it what is the scientific reason behind it let us see while drinking with straw we have to suck the straw when we suck the fluid will go upward because when we suck it will decrease the pressure inside the straw but the external atmospheric pressure is large compared to the pressure inside the straw this atmospheric pressure will exert on the surface of the water in the glass this pressure will cause it to rise through the straw the difference between the internal pressure and external pressure the drinking straw will able to bring the fluid in the upward direction when the person suck it upward it is one of the example for the atmospheric pressure some of the other examples for atmospheric pressure are fixing rubber suckers on polished surfaces when we put rubber sucker on a smooth surface air in the rubber sucker is forced out it will lead to have low pressure in between the surface and the rubber sucker at the same time the atmosphere also exerts pressure on the rubber sucker and the surface and it will be more due to this pressure differences between the external atmosphere and the surface of the wall and the rubber sucker is able to stick tight in the surface of the wall if we want to remove the rubber sucker we want to apply force which is greater than the atmospheric pressure another example for atmospheric pressure is as mountain is climb higher altitude there is the possibility of nasal bleeding because of the occurrence of pressure variation atmosphere exerts pressure on all objects including living beings it exerts pressure on us also but do not feel the pressure because it is compensated by the pressure exerted by the gases and fluids in inside the our body now let us conclude this session now we studied about the pressure exerted by the atmosphere that is called atmospheric pressure and the reason behind the occurrence of atmospheric pressure with daily life examples try to find some more applications of atmospheric pressure from our day to day life hope you enjoyed this session thank you all